turn 31. Construction 6 is done, hooray. Everything in blood. Got my Shadow Imps, Pale Riders, Wolves. Found two sites and underwater caves. Cave of... Oops. Dark Rites. More death, more astral, more earth, that's good. And then another lake of living water over here. And a well of white water, a bunch of blood slaves, and then some battles. Uh, Ashdod counterattacking with. Where is it? Oh, this guy. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's a little thug. And it's not a very impressive one, but it will kill bats, so I'll keep it away from them. And then we've got more battles. And it looks like he didn't resist me at all. Everything that I attacked died. Including the storm of Asphodel. For some reason there were only two mages inside, so I don't know why there's only two mages. He's held this for a while. Unless he's walking them around. I don't know. But they're dead now. Next, some sneak uh, discovery from my patrols. Killing some scouts. And then it's some starvation. Okay. So first things first. Let's go ahead and start forging some stuff. And, oh, get that hammer off of you. And we'll put that hammer on you. And you're going to forge a bottle of living water. And you're going to forge a water bracelet so you can also make bottles of living water. And you are going to forge a water bracelet also. And then we're going to go... I'm thinking... Let's say three black hearts. One, two, three. Used one without the re experience. Black heart, black heart, black heart. And then let's go ahead and make. Do I have any other P2? I guess they all have experience. That's fine. So I guess we'll go ahead and use experience ones. So we're gonna make. We're gonna start with two boots of youth. Because I'm gonna put one on my. Um, guy that I'm going to death empower, although he's not quite old, it will be. And then also my air empowered guy who is old. So we're going to do that before late winter comes. And then this guy is going to forge a bloodthorn booster. And actually let's go ahead and forge a little bit, one more boots of youth. Just some research over here. And then over here, research, and one more cast of wolves, I think we'll do it for here. These need to run over here to start picking up this stuff. Patrol search, blood hunt, blood hunt, and, oh, we're going to keep you here. So he's at a lab, so I can use him if I want to, because I will, because he's going to be toadzing. And let's see. So we're going to split up a bit here. And that'll work. And we'll 
be on skeletons. And all the rest are flying around attacking stuff. You just searched, and we'll keep searching up. We'll go up this way. And you'll go up this way. Wait. And... Well, let's see. So now that his stuff's kind of disconnected here, his things can't move here. So we're going to go ahead and take them. So connect all my stuff. We'll take that one and we'll go this way. Actually, we'll, we'll go this way. That will go over there. I assume he's going to counterattack me at some point. I'm not seeing it happen yet, but it will. So we're going to assume he moves, and if he moves down here, which I assume he will, then I can hit here and siege this, which is going to be with how many bats? 40. 80, 100, 130, I want another group. How many sets? Two groups. Nope. You're all going here. Yeah, that should be enough. If not, oh well. Or maybe we'll just move everything here for now. We're going to go like this, because I want to try and connect this stuff. Actually, wait, that is connected. We'll just go here. Okay. Let's sit there. Research. And... Searching. Need to search by nature some more, so keep moving these over. What do we got here? We're gonna need more wolves. So let's go ahead and summon some. Two more casts should be enough for this province. And I'll let that guy oops. Cast back wolves. And we've got one, two, three, four. And that doesn't really matter because it's in fort. Next, what we got here. I've got a pale rider guy, and he's gonna go down here. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and do our empower. Oops, not that. Empowerment death. There we go. Air dude is. Done, and we're going to alchemize another gem here. Actually, we're going to take this away, and we're going to forge our bottle of water without a gem bonus, because I want that gem bonus for air, because I don't have as many. So we're going to forge flying boots, which is really good, so now I'll be able to take these E3 ones and boots them up. And I should also empower one. Um, we're going to empower this one. E3. Okay. These guys are just going to chill. And you're going to guard. Defense torn enough. That we'll leave there. That we'll move here. That you can go down there. Okay. 
And I don't have any gold surplus. Let's see, I have four gold. That's nothing. And I need to redo the scripting over here also. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to change you to Master. Actually, we're going to change that. You're going to have the normal one. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom down here. And you're going to bloodlust. There it is. And then we're going to do reinvigoration. And then for these two, we're going to make them slaves. Sabbath slave. And Sabbath slave. So that way all the imps will be cast, and then we'll get bloodlust on all the imps. So if they send something here to try and raid me creatively, it will not survive. Okay. I think that should do it. Yeah. So my gold is pretty bad at this point, but that's expected. Um, I'm going to try and get more income from kind of reading this guy, but we'll see what I can manage. So, after I get some more of these boosters forged, and I'm thinking, should I actually empower this? I think I may. One, two, three, four. Because if I empower you, then with one booster, actually, no, we'll just... We'll just leave masses. Blood out. Research. Okay. Because this one's going to be making some thorns. So this one make a thorn. Well, I want to make more thorns, so we're going to actually... We will empower. So empower him. He'll make a thorn. We can hand him the thorn, and he can make a thorn, and he can make another one, which will give me a nice good collection of blood thorns. And then after that, he'll make a brazen vessel, so I can make another B3. And then I'll take all three of those and toads, which has a range of four, I believe. Does it not? Range of, oh, I don't have it yet, but I will. It is five. Okay. Oh, that's right. They doubled the cost, so it's actually 20 slaves. I may not toads after all. I keep forgetting they nerfed that. It used to be just 10, uh, which was kind of brokenly cheap because you could just permanently lock down forts without much effort. It's not like that anymore. And what else? That's really all I can do here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to have blood 5 next turn, another 2 turns after that, I'll blood 6, and then like 4 turns after that, I will have blood 7 be right uh, in the beginning of your four-ish, and that's when the vampires begin. So I'm going to keep ramping up my blood until that happens. Let's go ahead and put these in here. And unlike wolves, these are actually like capable troops, so if I get attacked, they'll be able to defend me. I wish I could kill him. And yeah, I think that's the turn. Just continuing along, keeping anyone else from winning while I get just over the hump so I can go and take out like that and these and then try and claim them all and win. But we'll see what happens. So that is turn 31.